All right, we have X lights with the new sequence tab here, the 2012D. And uh, see over here, fix and mapping, my first channel is 487 on the matrix. And it's going to run the 5526. And what Matt's saying is, is you've got to start with the same other Vixen channel it is that you're, uh, whatever you're trying to manipulate using the sequence tab. You've got to remember what your start is there. So we'll go ahead and we'll go over to sequence here. And the first thing I like to do is open up the file. So I'm just going to use this Merry Christmas real quick. And we open the file here. Then uh, the first time you come in here, you're going to have to create a model. So you come over to New, you'll create your model here and go down and choose what type of thing it is. For me, it's a vertical matrix. And uh, well, let me just go over here real quick. I've got a matrix, so I named it a vertical, 12 strings of 140. Number of strands for string, I do four folds. So I start at the bottom, I go up, and they go back and forth four times. 35 lights on each one of them. Here's my start channel that I was mentioning earlier about the Vixen mapping. Channel order is RGB. It's got a lot of different color in case you need to change your color mapping. Direction left to right. Smooth edges. I use two times so I can get really good text scrolling. And you want to check mark part of display, which means it's actually inside the X sequence file it's looking at. So it's going to go in and try to find it inside of there. And once you got that, you click OK. Uh, probably the easiest way to do this now is you want to insert a row here. And notice you've already got your file open. So uh, I just click in there. You can see it put 000 in there for a start time. The easiest way to do this that I'm finding is come over to here and go to like text one and we're gonna type in Merry Christmas and come down here I like to go with a bold font so go to Franklin Gothic and my pixel matrix is 35 high so we're just gonna set it for about 30 then could go a little bit bigger but sometimes the Y and how cuts off the letters so let's see we've got this set up here and let's see and there's the Merry Christmas as it's scrolling the neat thing about this is you can do it dynamically see how it's moving down as I go along so once we're not cutting off letters here let's see make sure the Y stays up all right let's go ahead and play it one more time make sure it looks like it's changing where it's at all right we got that done so here's the grid and the easiest thing I've seen to do is come in here and that way we can remember what we did. Put the label in there. Move the grid over. Come over to the matrix. And you've got your uh, set of effect presets. That's probably totally different. But this grid here, what we can do is I've got other ones already in here. But we're just going to say grid. And watch over here in the matrix. As soon as we do an update, you get this nice big old long thing that tells you you know exactly what to do so then we come in here and we go to the second line so we're going to insert another row and let's say we're going to start at 20 seconds and this label is going to be uh, happy new year we're going to come over here and what we're going to do with this one is let's make it green and we're going to leave the same font just to make it easier so you can see it and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to throw some uh, well maybe a snowstorm probably going to be a little too much 
Then what we want to do is we've changed it over to white here and we've also got our speed set really slow. And then uh, you do something like a layered response. So that way you can see let's see Happy New Year. We need a good average. And since I pushed update, then it put it inside of here. The only thing that's being a little bit different right now is I'm not seeing the uh, the other tab like I should. In other words, it should be combining the... Uh, oh, that's right. He doesn't have Snowstorm working yet. We were using Snowflakes earlier. That's my bad. Alright, there's your Snowflakes in the background so you can increase the size by using the type over here. So you got bigger ones and we got layered and then you can use a mask so you can come down you can say uh, Layer 1 is the mask, which it's not going to tell you too much, too. You can be knocking holes inside of your text, but me, I, I kind of like the layered view. Let's see what average looks like. Average is kind of nice because you're not messing up your letters with the snowflakes. Go back to layered real quick and see. Turn off the white. Let's do a stop real quick. And you can see the red and the snowflakes. And then, say you want your text to scroll a little bit quicker. You come in here and you can ramp it up. And we need to move it up a little bit, it looks like. Yeah. And there you go. And then what we'll do is we'll do a stop. And we'll update the grid for what we've done. Now what you can do is come up here and let's do the big save. And once again, this is going to save the file out down here in the bottom you can see it updated it so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and hit play I don't know if you can hear that or not but the music's going so it should come up to here please select a cell on a display element I guess it wants number one first there we go I don't think you can hear the music, but it's going to play through until the 22nd mark. There you go, and see? That's our second text, too. And that's pretty much it. You just keep on adding them as you need. Go along and build you a big show. I've got to stop it right now. And that was some of my stuff falling down, but that's all good. And that's pretty much it. You just keep on adding your lines in there, what effects you want, and at the end you hit save, and uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, hopefully that helps you out, and uh, if you got any other questions, post them on the forum. All right then. Have a good one. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.